we try to start with the smallest fish we got. We uh, grab the fish, make sure we have the right bottle. We freeze them first because it makes them easier to fly and easier to use a bio punch. Yeah, they are pretty frozen, but they're, they'll do fine. When we take the fish, we have to subsample the fish because we use just the filet portion of the fish, the, fit, the part of the fish that people will eat. We try to sample above the lateral line, mainly because we don't want to get down into the body cavity where the, the intestines and the organs are. We definitely look to see if the fish is in good condition. We don't want fish that are skinny. We also don't want fish that are too fat. We want fish that are in normal condition. And we go ahead and we subsample fish by punching into the fish, into the filet portion, and putting the sample in the container here. What we're looking for is, uh, for this program, is methylmercury. Uh, we have a standard for methylmercury in the state of Arizona. One of the reasons why we look for methylmercury is that it attacks us at the very center of what makes us human. It attacks us at our intellect. Once we have those ground up pretty well, make sure we have all the tissue back down into the mortar. Then we just go ahead and take the actual sample and transfer it to the bottle. We need to do this well so that we don't contaminate the fish uh, any further, so we get really good data at the other end. The mortar and pestle, the knife, etc., all get acid washed. 10% hydrochloric acid. Rinse the mortar and pestle with DI water. Once we have that all out, we cap it off and we freeze it. Within a week, of our getting the data, we will either have a uh, fish consumption advisory or if the uh, fish are great, we'll just go ahead and uh, put those uh, data in our database and we'll move on. The fish consumption advisory, we are protecting the angling public. We want to make sure that the angling public has good fish that they can fish for.